we're now riding across Ival's Dyke, which acts as a barrier between the North Sea and uh, Iselmere. The crosswinds were extreme, but it was the lowest point of our uh, journey at minus four metres below sea level. Our first night in Europe was with Mike and Michelle. It's a couple who I met uh, on the Isle of Man TT in 2007. Hello Richard, how are you in England? We are both okay here. Race a little and uh, make lots of fun here. Yeah, long time no see, long time no hear. I hope everything is okay. I heard that you have a little kid, kids, and I hope to see you next time, maybe in man. I love to. All right, okay, very good. Love you, Richard. So here we are. We've arrived at the Nurburgring. Nurburgring. It's. Oh, what time is it in the afternoon? Oh, just ten past three. Uh, and of course, Adrian's now egg eager to get off and get around. But, uh, I did beat him getting the tent up. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mine's got an extra pole in it. Yeah. <laughs> He's struggling to get into his leathers. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's it. I'm a bit nervous to be honest. Um, and the sections where it's dry and it's grey, and the sections where it's chucking it down with rain, and there's mud on the road, and there's oil coming up off the cars on your visor. So I'm glad I've done it, but I'm not. Look, I don't want to go back out again. I just do the one lap. It's fine. I've done it. I get the sticker. Um, no, it's just you've got to learn that circuit. It's just it's so scary. Eight, 80 miles. About 80 miles. Uh, heading south. So, how far have we got to go? About, around about 270 miles. To, to Bavaria? To Bavaria. Okay. Uh, sun's just starting to break through. It's been a cold run this morning. Cold overnight, but there we are in the forest. It's, uh, it was. University Outdoor Pursuit Centre uh, in Bavaria and it was absolutely gorgeous and we had two days there just sort of chilling out really. Good German bike security measures.
Okay, we're just riding across a pass uh, from Austria into Germany. It's a little trial pass for us, just to, for us to get used to climbing these sort of uh, mountain roads. Last few miles of Austria, heading uh, on an auto route. We didn't intend to go on, but uh, heading towards the Italian border, and then uh, we'll be making our way through to the Stebbio Pass. We're riding along the banks of a reservoir, and if you look just off to your right, you can actually see a clock tower that's been left standing. Uh, it's a few metres out into the lake. So which way are we going, Dave? We're going up there. <laughs> Well, we've reached the summit of the Stevlio Pass, just short of 2,800 